describe that to us? Uh, yeah. Imagine it's long. Um, I, you know, it starts off with a deep tissue massage uh, to start the week off, and then um, ice baths, stretching, um, and then it's just really focusing on uh, what I need to do to kind of help the team win, you know, depending on which team we're playing. Um, I like to watch game tape and see, uh, you know, where teams are vulnerable and where, you know, I can pop up to, to make an impact in the game. So um, it's usually just, uh, you know, really just focusing on what I eat, um, you know, uh, taking every precaution you possibly can uh, to make sure you're fit for the game. And then uh, after games, it's, you know, kind of repeat, repeat, you know, it's ice bath stretching, um, you know, and, and foam rolling. And then, um, you know, I, I've, I've kind of really taken an appreciation for, um, you know, doing the little things, uh, even though you feel like you're great, just to just to, to be sure, you know. And I think, uh, you know, the past couple of years, it's really been up and down with my body, um, and uh, you know, obviously that takes a toll mentally on you because you're you're always unsure if you'll you be able to string a couple games together. Um, and this is the first year where I finally feel, uh, you know, back to, back to normal, like my old self. You know where I feel like I can play uh, two 90-minute games in, in the same week. So um, you know it's obviously uh, kudos to uh, our medical staff here, who have done a terrific job, um, as well as Nike with the, the high top shoe. So I'm able to put a lift in my uh, cleat now, which uh, helps balance me out a little bit since my right foot is so much shorter than my left. Was there ever is there a game that you could point to where you said, okay, this is the game where I kind of turned the corner? Where you know, this Well, the, you know, the past five years, it's always been um, little victories here and there where, you know, I feel like I'll give a glimpse of my old self. And, you know, those were huge confidence boosters to know that I'm still able to do it. It's just doing it on a consistent basis. And, um, you know, I think this season, um, the game against Dallas, where, where it was my first start with the New England Revolution, um, I felt like I took a huge step forward um, personally uh, to, you know, be able to battle and, and, and feel like I'm healthy throughout the whole, you know, 65 minutes or so that I played and felt like I really made an impact on that. I took a step forward with working on the game, uh, on my part of the game, which I thought needed the most work, which was the hold up play, you know, being a, a smaller center forward um, up there by myself. So. Uh, I think that was a huge uh, confidence booster that I needed to kind of take the next next step forward. How much of appreciation of the game do you have now? Maybe more because you had this road back, and now you're able to make a contribution on the team going into the MLS Cup. Oh, I, I have the most appreciation for for life itself. I mean, uh, just being able to wake up every day, I'm, I'm so thankful. So uh, every time I, I'm, I get to come to the locker room to, to practice or train or you know, just to be around the guys, I'm so happy. You know, I wake up and I'm like, oh, I get to see the guys again. So, you know, um, it's it's a, a true blessing for me to, to be able to lace up the boots and then go out there and play and, and make a difference, you know. And um, I, I make sure I, every day, you know, um, I, I don't take it for granted, you know. And, and I think that's the, the biggest lesson I learned since my accident is, you know, little things that we take for granted, you know, it's uh, – you don't realize how important they are to you and how much joy they bring to your life. And um, I make it a, I make it a habit of every day making sure I take a second to be like, I'm one lucky guy to, to be doing what I'm doing.